Well, hello everybody. It is I, Nat Cat. Today we're doing my hair. First step, pick out the ponytail that you slept in last night. And then make some weird faces at the camera. You're gonna want bowls, bleach, toner. You usually want temporary. I've got permanent on hand. You're gonna want 10, 20, and 30 volume processing solution. Dog is optional. You might also want a scale, some gloves, a foiling comb, and a lot of hair ties. So if you got all that, leg out. The first tool that you're gonna wanna reach for is your foil comb. You're going to separate your hair into two sections starting at the back of one ear, continue the part to the top of your head, and back down to the opposite ear. Then look for the two points in your head where the hairline recedes a bit and create a triangle shape, attaching it to the top point of your head that we sectioned out earlier. So go ahead and put that section into a ponytail and stick the remaining hair on either side of the section you just created into a ponytail, making sure to angle all three of them towards your face. Just don't do that. Okay, so now we're gonna move to the back section. Go ahead and separate it into two sections, starting at the top right portion of your head and bringing the part all the way down to the bottom left. Go ahead and put that top bit in a clip and we're gonna work on the bottom. Basically gonna do the opposite of what we just did. You'll be taking both new sections that you just created and separating each of them into two sections, effectively creating four diamond shaped parts on the back of your head. Feel free to disregard the grown out undercut. Make sure that each of these ponytails is in the center of the diamond section you just created. Cat. So the sectioning that you just did should resemble something like this. Feel free to get pretty sassy as your hair doesn't usually look like this. Then grab your cat. Well, don't grab your cat. All right, we're gonna mix up our first bowl of lightener. The lightener that I'm using is one part to two parts. You wanna take 10 grams of lightener to 20 grams of the activator. Mix that to a creamy consistency. I'm using 20 volume for the back and I'll be using a higher power for the front. That way I lift evenly. At this point, start sectioning your ponytails out either horizontally or diagonally. The more of a diagonal you give it, the more natural the blend is gonna look. Only put lightener on the areas that need to be lifted. Try not to overlap any existing blonde that's already the color that you desire. There's no need to cause any more damage than necessary. Time for more lightener, but this time I'm mixing up 30 volume instead of 20. This makes our new batch of lightener stronger than the last, which means this hair will lift faster and shouldn't have too much color difference between the back and the front. And once you finish foiling all those sections, you're looking pretty sexy. Now while you're waiting for your foils to process, you might let your dog inside. He's been out there for a while. I guess while we're at it, I'll show you Mila. She's my little half Siamese kitten. And this right over here is Kai. Oh, front facing camera. And over here we have my fish Rubius and his tank buddy Bernard. They're best friends. And this joyous animal over here is Smokey. She's very old and mad. Also while you're processing, don't forget to go check out Point Insertion. These guys are super funny and they've built a really, really great community on YouTube. Oh, hey, that's me. You know you're done processing when your hair is a pale yellow. At this point, you're ready to shampoo out the lightener. So the finished color with this isn't bad, but it's a little warm for me. So we ain't done yet. So go ahead and grab your violet toner and your 10 volume. Mix those together to a creamy consistency. Apply gloves. Put this anywhere that we just lightened. That's gonna be more of a yellow color. My ends are pretty icy already, so I don't need to put a toner on those. And leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the desired outcome. Go ahead and shampoo it out and you're done. Now I did try this look on a couple mannequins and a client before I did it to myself. I'm pretty happy with the outcome, but there's a few lines that I'm gonna have to go back in and blur out. But I still think this is a great way to do a balayage and to change up your look a little bit. You can look super sultry or not. There's tons of obvious dimension, which I love. And it's super low maintenance. Just let your natural color be the top. And balayage is needed. If anybody has any video suggestions, I'm open to any makeup or hair related topics. Just comment below. Thanks. Bye.